first of all welcome to the testing academy uh, let me know how are you and where you work what kind of work that you do where are you working somewhere or is it like uh, you are doing some work or probably searching what is it what's the current state no, first of all thanks uh, pramod actually i am uh, i looking uh, your videos from last one to two, uh, half year okay. you are great uh, in testing videos daily uh, awesome videos you created and posted on youtube Okay. So I got a one notification. I already subscribed your channel. Okay. I get a notification that you have one promo code for getting at this APIs on Selenium automation. Right, right, right. So I interested all that. I uh, subscribe and I uh, registered for that course. Okay. Amazing. So uh, uh, from my side, uh, promote the uh, lots of my friend. I mean, I have a uh, many friends. Mm-hmm. So she was saying actually you can Amit, you have to improve your skills of manual automation. You have subscribe or you uh, you have to see the videos of you. It's like uh-huh. your name, promote. <laughs> so that is very interesting, really. So right. that's why I am want to improve our skill set. Right, so right. that that is I am looking. So uh-huh. currently, I was working with QBS Learning that's situated in Noida Sector Three. Okay, okay. So in accessibility, I in access, senior accessibility test engineer. Really difficult, right? I mean, for accessibility testing, I I've seen only few accessibility testers. To be honest, in uh, with my eleven year experience, very few people go to specifically to accessibility. I mean, what exactly you do in accessibility? How can you describe like, actually, what exactly? Uh, uh, yeah. So in accessibility, how can be accessible any application? Maybe web, maybe web application. It right. may be a remediation, some kind of word file, PDF. How okay. can accessible? Suppose one person having a low eyes right, how right. can i see how can i read that right. i i can't hear so right. how can i uh, see that how see can that. I, how can by access, access that pro- okay. application so we have to use html5 on that way aria html aria okay. uh, we are used to okay. yeah so uh, we use aria html5 and we have described all that uh, screen readers uh, for screen readers, users et users mm-hmm. we have defined all that things according to so okay. focus visible there should be focus visible announce it where we are uh, navigating the page Okay. According to that, we have to well contrast analyzer, screen readers, all that things we use in accessibility. Okay, okay. So overall contrast, low vision, other things you have to be take care for all the web pages, right? Is it? Yeah. I mean, uh, generally people have this doubt like accessibility testing, they don't have much career. I mean, or probably as a manual tester or a normal tester, they have to do very small part of it. I mean, can we have like full career only on the accessibility what do you think on this i mean you are no, a that yeah actually this is the good uh, career path in accessibility most of organization using accessibility right right i right. mean on websites mostly uh, ibm or most of just like a global uh, organization mm-hmm. just a big organization just like a microsoft also right. dq right, these right. are part of uh, uh, really so right. these are the uh, very big companies that are hiring accessibility test engineers dq hai they have good growth it's not a doubt there is a no growth there is as a manual tester or automation tester this is having a very good growth so promote the having a good growth in accessibility uh, mm-hmm. most of companies are hiring so i have a tester test certified from mm-hmm. dhs or dq so uh, i have a certified of iap cpsc and dhs so i have certified tester of accessibility so okay. i have a one year experience in uh, qbs before mm-hmm. that i have a one and a half years in scl i worked but okay. my period was different in scl so before that i worked in uh, cptp india that uh, is a health care domain that deals in healthcare domain mm-hmm. so i worked the two and a half year in okay. cptp india noida and before that i have a four years experience in a, as an analyst in gits india private limited that is semi government organizations so overall you have how much year experience total actually uh, overall i have i have a 13 pass out of mca okay so almost 8 and 9 years right is it yeah, nine years experience i have and how much is uh, the accessibility testing in this? Three, three point two years I have. Apart from Aria, which tool you have used? Apart from Aria, there are many tools we have to use. Uh, just like a, I mean, uh, one tool of accessibility inside for web, mm. for web application we use EXC inside, same yeah. as. Uh, uh, AXE accessible and okay. same AI, mm-hmm. all that things. So just like a, a web, okay. ARC, okay. Uh, same as Lira. Lira is a type of the one extensions of web browsers according to Lira. access board, uh, same as uh, one or more access assistant. These Lira. are the some actions and we can find out uh, what are the main issues according to uh, VOCA guidelines. We have logged that issues and logged in Jira or Excel. So and what are, your, what are your future plans after this? I mean, do you want to switch to some other domain or is it like, what is it? No, actually, I want to uh, take a good, uh, I mean, uh, knowledge. I want to get a knowledge in automation, automation. manual, accessibility. 
all field i want to get a so mostly okay so automation manual as well as uh, accessibility i think you already doing it so you already know about it right yeah and how how is your learning going on right now i think you are part of the batch right how is your learning going yeah on? <laughs> yeah actually uh, uh, on that way on on learning is going on continuously uh-huh. so parallelly i am doing the job and doing something extra i mean something extra and learning uh, just like a, a development phase i am also doing that right, which type right. of dirt what is the means of dirt how what is which type of language that right, so on right. that things i am just learning seeing the basic knowledge right, dirt right. Uh, uh fisua is a fisua is a version of operating system of google mm-hmm. so on that things just i am learning i am seeing that i mean if someone wants to jump into accessibility testing as a fresher or something like this what the what are the steps that you will uh, tell him like what are the three things he has to do if he for example a fresher want to jump directly to the accessibility testing or some there, there is a person 3 years experience 4 years experience want to jump to the accessibility profile tell you what are your inputs no according to there some organizations just like scl microsoft or dq mm. or just like one things or more these are the fully accessible companies okay. they are using work, work on accessible any application any web application any mobile application all that things so according to as a fresher we have to knowledge according to the uh, power accessible what is the accessible exactly the core accessibility what are the different there yeah right there are principles there is a right? there is four principles that is power perceivable the application should be perceivable p o u r so application should be operable understandable and reversed these oh. are the four principles of accessible great great great, great. so you have to learn have about all that research about them basically right is it yeah so anything that you would like to discuss with me Uh, I think we have enough knowledge of accessibility now. <laughs> Let's uh, discuss about two important things. So, for accessibility testing, suppose someone wants to take certification, I think you already told us. Can you give us name again? What are the certifications are there? Yeah, first of all, first certificate is DHS Tested Tested Tester certification. That is provided by US Department of Homeland and Security. This okay. is the uh, department. So, we have to take the, this certification first. Okay. After and taking certification. Is- how much is cost so free of cost free of i cost. will send you a one yeah free of cost okay, okay. just send me a link the, i will take it out yeah yeah definitely i will be i will be sending you in the description okay. after that after after that uh, if you have interested on that this field so you can take a certification of aod just like a document accessibility training that is provided by iaap iaap means uh, it's not a free of cost okay you have to submit it some fee just okay. like a 16000 okay so okay. you have to take the certification so okay. same as uh, after paying certification you can take the certification of uh, cpacc that is uh, provided by iaap okay. so certification that is uh, aoda i okay. mean orientation with disability act okay. so i am already certified this same as uh, the mainly four okay. and uh, one of things uh, that is uh, also free of cost that is accessibility ad- advocate provided by ibm okay. you can take the certifications also so these are the main uh, certifications so suppose uh, my question to you now it's very important which is salary right everyone loves salary right uh, suppose i have 7 years of experience with accessibility testing like 3 years now approximately what is the range that i can expect in indian lpas like generally and lpas are there right so indian rupees how much i can expect like 7 years 8 years what is it what do you think yeah actually i actually i have a uh, i mean 3 years experience i am getting a, a 10 lpa okay. 10 to 12 sometime according to company okay so in accessibility okay so like how much upper if we talk about upper one right uh, suppose i am joined uh, a very good company right where accessibility testing mm-hmm. i am doing with 3 years right what is the upper bound mm-hmm. in this case uh, i can go for 15 16 20 also easily right yeah you easily we can we can get uh, one of my friend that is working with the essential mm-hmm. uh essential getting a 26 currently uh, lpa 26 lpa essential accessibility accessibility how much experience yeah in accessibility there is a uh, 7 years 7 years i mean this is huge yeah. i mean and yeah. he's for 7 years he is doing accessibility testing is it totally accessibility testing and 56 lakhs you are saying right 56 not a thousand much uh, yeah 56 lakhs really okay okay amazing man i mean it's a really really one of the great career right i think uh, people think that only yeah, manual testing is there in manual testing or in normal software testing there are multiple testing you can go at right etl is there right even the accessibility testing right so yeah amazing man actually in in fu- in functional actually promote in functional testing we have to learn t- all tools what yeah. is about the postman so pui yeah. and yeah. we have to learn all that is manual t- mean manual testing mm-hmm. but in accessibility testing you have to uh, knowledge when we 
practice uh, with different different browsers accordingly okay. so you have to use some extensions so like right. some like uh, some extension of uh, uh, intel x browser some extension having a uh, uh, chrome some mm-hmm. extension having the mozilla according to the we have to practice and you have to certify it. okay so Can some you of you like that two, that is the extension I- which are important for accessibility two extension that you generally use yeah ai and axe AI or AXE. These are Google Chrome extensions yeah. you can install and directly use. Yeah, right? Google Chrome extensions. Yeah, okay. and the ANDI. This is the tool of uh, uh, Internet Explorer or is nowadays. This okay. is the very useful tool. ANDI is the tool. All right. Uh, I think we got some information and uh, really, really helpful, uh, Mitch, for you to giving us all the information related to accessibility testing. I mean, uh, if someone wants to jump, especially from fresher to accessibility testing, right? Or suppose manual tester want to jump, or they want to increase some career, or they want to purely focus on some niche, right? I think accessibility testing they can go at. It has huge experience, expertise, uh, as well as I would say salary also, right? Uh, even I have heard that uh, there are a couple of folks. in browser tech also with accessibility testing they have huge package i mean huge huge package really? and they are basically specific to a niche that's why because we are a functional normal functional tester right like we are automation tester or manual tester then you we are at a generic level right very generic in nature but accessibility yeah. testing is very focused exactly. as compared to that right that's why you can get a higher salary if you are good at it very good at it right that's what i think really? actually i i already moved from manual to accessibility Okay. There is a good uh, spoke in accessibility. Really, uh, that time I have a two years experience in uh, manual testing. Right. Mm-hmm. That time I joined the SCL and uh, uh, just like a seeing that Mr. What is the accessibility? How is work? That is so interested, so uh, easy to right. understand. Okay, what is this accessibility? How can we improve that? And now you are started learning the automation and manual testing also, right? Side by side. Manual testing, yeah. <laughs> side by side. Right, right, right. Manual testing, I think you already know it. Automation mostly you are focusing on, right? Mostly, yeah. Mostly API or Selenium. Okay, right. because mostly a global uh, i mean just like a, a selenium we have all of most of companies are using right, selenium right. or cypress right right, right. cypress also it is I a mean, part it's good of to have to selenium. have a skills right i mean it's good that you already in a focused one but it's good to have other skills also sometimes you jo- join you get higher packages in different companies right that like, that you can definitely do. all right uh, yeah, thanks yeah. a lot amit for joining in and thanks a lot for giving same, us some information about the accessibility testing and uh, i'll see you soon somewhere right thanks a lot for joining sure. and, uh, yeah thanks a lot for this video thank you right? i'll see you around thank you thank you thanks